In 2021, there was a serious outbreak of a foodborne illness in Europe and North America. This is the story of how international collaboration and a certain codex text helped to identify the source of the problem. We were notified by the Public Health Authority for England in April 2021 of a cluster of illness of a Salmonella brandera. The UK quickly identified the strain of the Salmonella contamination through whole genome sequencing and through patient surveys also identified the likely source as melons. It was vital to share that information to prevent further illness and find the country of origin. At 17.08 on the 28th of May, I reached out to the Infosan Secretariat requesting their urgent assistance. Infosan is the FAO WHO International Food Safety Authorities Network, which facilitates rapid information exchange in foodborne disease outbreaks. In May 2021, the Infosan Secretariat received a signal uh, from the emergency contact points in the UK. They wanted to know whether other countries have reported similar cases. By 11.21 on the following day, I received a response from the Infosan Secretariat um, giving me an indication of the situation in around 13, 14 countries across Europe and outside of Europe. That's quite phenomenal as a capability out of ours. In this very particular case, we were able to share that a country was investigating melon, same as the UK, because we know it's the same outbreak. It's the same strain that was isolated and sequenced. Three countries were identified as the potential country of origin based on information regarding import dates and the timing of first cases, one of which was Honduras. Inicialmente fue una notificación en la cual Infosan nos informaba sobre este evento. Por lo tanto, se hizo un intercambio de información referente a todos los establecimientos exportadores de melón desde Honduras hacia la Unión Europea. This was no small task in a country that produces 140 million kilos of melons annually. Y eh, posteriormente recibimos una notificación el 11 de junio en el cual nos notifican de que efectivamente melones de Honduras, Galia, estaban asociados al brote debido a que ya habían resultados positivos de Reino Unido. There was then um, several communications per day, several days per week, and it was really intense, close cooperation. To track down the source of the outbreak, Maria Sevilla sent a team of 10 technical and laboratory staff, microbiologists and epidemiologists, into the field to collect samples. We decided to realize this team of work, go to the camp, to the plant. We realized more than 60 samples, tanto of surfaces, of soils, well, what we decided to use was more than certain documents of the codex, incluso documentos que todavía estaban en borrador. This document, the Guidelines on the Management of Biological Foodborne Outbreaks, was, at the time, being developed by one of the Codex Alimentarius's Committee on Food Hygiene's electronic working groups. Codex has this really critical role of keeping us aligned to common principles and common approaches. Honduras, following that codex approach, gave us as a country assurance that they were at a level of commitment to food safety. They were the test pilot of the development of that guidelines because they were applying them in practice that no doubt is beneficial. Meanwhile, the UK also sent the gene sequences of the implicated bacterial strain to Honduras so they could compare salmonella isolates from their samples with the outbreak strain. Y ahí fue donde nos vimos con uno de los primeros retos dentro de nuestra evaluación. Eh, era el hecho de que no teníamos cómo genotipificar la, la muestra, ya que no, no contábamos con la capacidad laboratorial en, en Honduras. Fortunately, an American university was willing to sequence the positive sample from Honduras, and the result was conclusive. Honduras notified Infosan they had found the source of the outbreak one bird dropping in a melon washing tank in Choluteca, southern Honduras, had probably caused 348 people to fall ill from salmonella poisoning, hospitalizing 68. It's incredible that despite the distance, despite the different capabilities internationally across all the countries globally, that science can talk 
that seamless language. This detective work is also a remarkable example of a collaboration across countries, rapid information sharing and harmonised data collection to prevent the spread of illness and save lives. I think it was a really great example of uh, international collaboration because really we saw countries collaborating together to find the source of the outbreak. Because people were getting sick, they were being hospitalised, so acting fast was really of the essence here. Valuable lessons were learned by all concerned, and UK retailers now rely on the plan developed by Honduras during the outbreak. They were thorough in their step approach to identifying all the hazards. They had a, a very particular 12-step plan. We took some insights from some of the principles they'd applied. And actually, to this day, three years on, uh, the retailers in the UK still recognise that as an example of really good practice. And importantly, that best practice was guided by the Codex Alimentarius. The Codex guidelines for the management of biological foodborne outbreaks provide point-by-point -point advice, first on how to prepare for and then how to manage foodborne outbreaks, as well as providing guidance on how to continuously improve preparedness and response systems. And this story from Honduras is an excellent example of how Codex Techs played an important role in supporting and guiding national authorities in managing food safety issues. Since this outbreak in 2021, there has been no detection of any pathogenic hazards in melons from Honduras.